Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch and in previous video we learned about uh, tensor initialization and uh, what various attributes it has and uh, what are the ways we can modify them, okay. In this video we will talk about tensor operations like what operations we can perform and uh, we have divided this session um, into two parts. So in this session we will learn about arithmetic operations and uh, and also we will learn about how we can do it in place and also we will see like how we can concatenate two tensors in that sense okay so let us dive in and start with arithmetic operations so um in arithmetic operations there are quite a few ways that we can do it so let us say we have two tensors x and y and we can uh, we want to add them okay so we can simply say z is equal to torch dot Aid, and we simply pass tensor 1 which is x and tensor y okay and we get the output in z okay so we can print it so let us run and see it you see it has added uh, tensor 1 and tensor 2 and uh, this is important to note here here it will be element wise so this element is added to this this element is added to this and so on okay and then the second approach is uh, doing broadcasting or adding a single scalar we will see that uh, in 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 uh, in a few minutes but uh, first let us look at how we can uh, fire various uh, um, operations uh, using uh, torch library in that sense so this is the first way like we use torch dot operation and then uh, pass the arguments okay and the second approach is this like we simply say um we simply specify that where the output should be stored using out argument okay so simply we can say we have a tensor z and we want to use this to store the output of the operation okay and here you can see this this method of creating tensor is useful because we want to create an empty tensor okay and now we can simply say torch dot aid okay and we can simply say x y and out is equal to z okay now let us uh, comment this out let us print g now it will be the same output okay so let us run and see it you see it has added tensor x to y and we have the output in z and also you uh, notice here it is a float okay because by default this g is a float tensor okay that we have seen it's uh, it's by default is a uh, float 32 tensor if we will simply print z dot d type we will see it okay so let us run and see it type we can simply say You see it's float 32 that's why uh, you can see the values that we are getting they are float okay now next way of doing uh, uh, running operations on tensors is using tensor 1 and then apply operation on that and then in argument we simply pass the second argument okay so we can simply say z is equal to x dot eight y okay now let us print z let us comment this. This is the third way of running a tensor operation. Okay, you can see the output is exactly same. And the third one is using um, a scalar. So instead of using the two tensors, and and one more thing that uh, you should know is um, the tensor shape. Both of them should be the same. Here you can see. It is a uh, uh, two cross three, and this is also two cross three. Okay, if I will simply um, 
change something which uh, won't be consistent it will complain it won't work okay so let us try now it will fail simply so you see and uh, there there is one more thing uh, this was the element wise operation whereas we can perform two more things um, with tensor operation one is uh, known as broadcasting and the second another one is known as scalar okay so let us look at the scalar part so in scalar part what we do is we simply take a scalar value so let us say s is equal to 10 and we simply say z is equal to x dot 8 s okay so this is allowed if you have just one scalar you can simply add with a matrix or a tensor which is multi-dimensional okay so here what will happen is it will add 10 to this element 10 to this element and so on so in in, in source tensor the scalar value will be added in this case because we are using add operation uh, for each and every element in other source tensor okay so let us print and see it so let us run so you see uh, 10 is added in each and every um, element in that matrix okay and then let us see how the broadcasting works so let us comment this out so let us create another tensor let us say b is equal to torch dot tensor and let us create a simple tensor which says 10 11 12 okay so this is a tensor of uh, like uh, a simple vector okay and if i will simply say z is equal to x dot a b what will happen so let us print c and c okay so what will happen is so we know that it has the dimensionality uh, uh, same which is uh, uh, number of columns okay so it will simply what will do it will create a matrix of the same size which will be simply um 10 11 12 and then another row 10 11 12 and simply add it okay that's what broadcasting will do it will simply broadcast it to the size of the tensor x which is uh, 2 cross 3 so it will simply create another uh, um, row in that sense okay like this so if i will say something like this it is the same okay i think that should be clear it's right simple concept okay so instead of doing this if we pass this it will do the same thing okay so let us run and see it you see it has broadcasted these values to both the both the rows in that sense okay this is our x and it has added like uh, 10 to um these values 10 11 12 to each row of the x matrix okay and now let us try to re reduce it like not with the size of the second dimension now it will complain because it is not compatible with the with the dimension which it is trying to broadcast okay so let us run and see it you see it says the size of tensor a three must match the size of it tensor b at single dimension one okay and how we can um, fix it if you want to broadcast at column level we need to do that so okay so let us do that so to broadcast at column level you need to create a tensor with the same dimension okay so we can simply say let us say 10 and let us say we have another tensor 11 now it will work because now the 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 dimension um 
zero this dimension the number of rows they are now same so it will broadcast it like this simply it will what it will do it will simply keep adding uh, the columns in that sense okay so it will add uh, 10 uh, 11 here 12 here 11 here 12 here 11 here and 12 here okay so let us run and see it we can simply say z is equal to x dot 8 p okay let us print z see it we see it has a 10 here 11 here 10 here 11 here 10 here 11 here and so on okay now let us talk about singleton output so when we run some aggregation like uh, max uh, mean and so on so we get a single value tensor and uh, most of the time we need it uh, to print and probably we need it to uh, use it as a single uh, python value okay so we have a single uh, method that we can use on tensor to get a single scalar value okay so for example let us say we have a uh, we want to get a max of x so we can simply call x dot max or we can simply say max of x and uh, what we get is a tensor which is which will have a single value okay and then we can simply use m dot item okay. this returns a single value which is now a python uh, integer or python float whatever a single value you will get from this operation okay now let us comment this out now let us run and see it We need to say dodge dot x. Let us run. You see, the first time it was a tensor, and then in second, when we printed it with item, it is a single, uh, a simple integer value in Python. Okay. So I hope this is clear. And if you have queries or questions, ask in the comment section. I will try to explain them again. And now let us uh, talk about in place operations. Okay. In place operations are simply we use a underscore after the operation name. Okay. So let us say we have x and y. We want to simply create z. Let us now create z is equal to x. And let us use torch dot eight. Both are equivalent. Whether you use tensor dot eight or uh, torch dot eight, they will. Uh, do the same thing okay x and y and if i'll say this we need to use this actually okay now the value of x will be equivalent to z because what happens is x this 8 will simply do in place addition of y and store the results in x okay and also it will re return uh, the result into z but you can avoid it you can simply uh, say this it will be fine okay but just to see uh, with uh, actual values if they are equal i have added uh, z as well there so let us print z let us print x and let us print x is equal is equal to z so this will simply return um boolean values if uh, all of them are equal okay so it will give us uh, uh, indication and uh, that x and z are equal okay so let us run and see it so you see both of them are exactly same and you can see all of the elements in the um, boolean matrix are true Okay. it means each and every element in both tensor z and x are same okay now uh, let us look at uh, a next 
operation which is called joining tensors so uh, in many cases if you have uh, uh, quite a few tensors and you need to join them okay so in that case you can use uh, the cat operation so let us do that so let us say we have z and we can simply use torch dot cat and we pass what are the tensor list we want to concatenate x and y by default it will uh, concatenate in dimension 0 which we simply this row is simply appended as a here row new row and so on okay so let us print z and z what is the default dimension so let us run and see it so you see it has added x tensor it has added y tensor in x with uh, just adding um, rows in the new tensor okay and also you can simply say dimension is equal to one then in that case it will simply append the rows in the uh, new tensor okay so let us run and see it so you see it has simply appended this row with this row and this row to this row okay i hope this much is clear and in this video we will stop here in the next video we will talk about uh, slicing or indexing in tensors and also um, we will look at uh, a bit more about uh, um, uh, tensor and numpy bridges like how we can do uh, tensor to numpy and numpy to tensor okay so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next